Yo, hey, hold up, yeah, hey, ha, Larry, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 let's go, let's go, hey, oh, you already know my name, Larry, Rain, Larry, Rain, four diamonds in my chain, Larry, Rain, hey, yeah, so soldiers in my game, Larry, Rain, I'm, I'm number one on this game, Larry, Rain. Top 100 below me Can't just say you good At this game you gotta show me EA tryna help them out But they cannot hold me Number one on the leaderboard The rest of y'all below me Yeah When you look at this right 99 game win streak um, And we got some pretty impressive records up here right 86% win percentage 80 90 dog her out <laughs> 90 percent win percentage 559 and 64 um 22 game win streak 23 but when you see 99 that's how you know you different now 99 means out of all the bullshit that happens on this game you fought through it 99 means straight, like like 1, 2, 3, 23, 43, 73, 83, 99. That means Wi-Fi has been great. I feel like I'm low right now. I knew I was low. Wi-Fi has been great. Um, the the just the, the skill has just been amazing. Like the grind has just been immaculate. It's been great. 99 games in a row. 99. And we know how playoffs is. Playoffs is usually tough as fuck games. Um, I don't even know what to think or, or say right now, bro. 99. We, we're looking for win 100 in a row. To me, that's very impressive. To me, it's very impressive. Now, is that 99 games straight? Just playing Georgia and Bama and Texas all the time? No. I search any tier, and whoever I get matched up with, that's who I'm playing. You know what I'm saying? So, if I was sitting there playing, you know, Georgia and Bama and things like that, it would be more impressive if I played them every single game. Now, I do play them a lot of times. Now, one thing about it is um, I don't duck no smoke. You know what I'm so, when I see Bama, I play Bama. I see Georgia, I play Georgia. You know what I'm saying? But um, it is it do be refreshing to run into teams like Toledo, and you got Bama. Like okay, cool. You know what I'm saying? We got we got we we can we can we can you know what I'm saying? Take this game off, and you know what I'm saying? We know we got this in, in the bag. You know what I'm saying? But just the amount of people I've played, I've had a couple scares. You know what I'm saying? Um, I was playing earlier. Uh, I was playing Fortnite a couple days ago, and uh, it was thundering and raining outside, and my. Uh, Whole power, all the power went out. Wi-Fi went out. Uh, screen went, everything went black for like five seconds. Then it just crunked back up. And I was playing with my homie on Fortnite, and he said, and I, at this point in time, I think I was in like an 85 game win streak. And he was like, "Thank God you wasn't playing college." I said, "Oh my God!" I just thought about that. Like, damn, to lose my streak like that is crazy. So now when it's raining outside and thundering and shit, I don't even get on the game. <laughs> When it's thundering outside and I hear boom, doo, 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 outside, I don't even get on the game, bro. I cannot, I cannot risk my my Wi-Fi going out like that. But for me to not have no disconnection losses or anything like that, ninety nine straight wins. No, the way my Wi-Fi is set up, we got. I live in an apartment and we got apartment Wi-Fi. But no, I went and bought my own Wi-Fi and ain't nothing hooked up to it but the game. Like ain't nothing hooked up to it. When they get this, when they get that receiver ninety eight speed, cause he ain't always been there. Cause I usually just gotta worry about the 98 speed running back. Nah, that's actually crazy. That's why I'm glad I look at rosters every single time, cause he ain't been there. Ah, oh, for ninety nine, this is gonna be a hell game. I can already see it. Glad we scored first play, but. It's about to be hard for me to stop him on offense. 98 speed running back. 
and then 98 speed receiver. It's about to, it's about to be tough. Cause usually, usually I don't gotta worry about nothing but the run game with these dudes. Um, 98 speed running back with takeoff, so he can put him at receiver, and then he can really put this 94 speed guy in at running back. So he can have two 98 speed receivers if he really wants to. But where did he come from? Number 17. I always be stressing. I always, I always start stressing when it, whenever I. Whenever it comes down to shit like this, because like this is 99 wins in a row, bro. 99 straight. It's not like I'm playing the same person every time. I'm playing a bunch of random people. Not for one versus 99 people straight. Very impressive when you sit here and actually like break it down and think about it. And then on my other account, I think I'm. I think I'm like. Well, I play with random teams. I think I'm like on a 25 game win streak. So, for everybody that's watching, you're going, oh, you can only play with Bama. No, I play with a bunch of different teams. But, yes, I am very comfortable playing with Bama. Very, very comfortable. And that's what the, the consistency shows. You know what I'm saying? You're very consistent playing with this team, and you're very consistent winning with this team. Very consistent. Winning with this team. Where the fuck is 17 at? You don't even have him out there. Thank you. Love to see it. How do you not have a 98 speed receiver in the game? That's really what, like, that's really what it comes down to. How do you not know your roster well enough to know that you got 98 speed receiver right there? And you got him at the bottom. He ain't got a chance of rotating in. He ain't like fourth or fifth. He is like number seven or eight. That's it's crazy. Wide slot right. Um, you didn't just throw that. Okay, yeah, this guy, this guy is actually horrible. And what type of angle is that from 27? Wow. Now, when I look at teams... I look at what could give me problems. I don't even like really care about who I'm playing up top. Like the name really never matters to me. It's always about the team. You know what I'm saying? And I always look at it in the worst case scenario. Like because I look at it as if I would be like how I would defeat what I run. And 98 speed receivers give me problems. Like when I play against Kentucky, I'd be like, man. I hate playing versus Kentucky because Kentucky got two 98 speed receivers. I hate playing versus them. And you can have two 98 speed receivers right here with this team. That's a reverse pass. Nope, just a reverse. So I played that. I, I, I'm thinking three steps ahead of Buddy already. I seen the reverse. But then I'm thinking reverse pass. So I took my use. I'm about to go play coverage on the. Man, that's why I'm good at this game, bro. Like, I'm always steps ahead. I'm always steps ahead of people when it comes to thinking. And um, like I say, it's always like, what would I do versus my defense right now? I wouldn't do no shit like that. That's not anything I would do. No, I definitely wouldn't. Yeah, I definitely would not do nothing like that. That is not it. That was horrible. I just whooped this dude's ass. Head over to your App Store or Google Play and download the best way to play fantasy, Prize Picks. Use code RAIN4 to instantly get $50 when you put in a $5 pick. It's pretty simple. Just pick more or less on your favorite players on the projected stat line for the day. Prize Picks offers every sport you can think of, from NBA, college football, college basketball, NFL, and many more. Prize Picks also offers mixed sports entries, like you can take more points for Caitlin Clark, more total bases for Aaron Judge, more passing yards for Patrick Mahomes, or more assists for LeBron James on the same entry. With the fast and secure withdrawal systems, Prize Picks is the best legal way to play player props. Once again, head over to your Apple Store or Google Play and download Prize Picks. And don't forget to use code RAIN4 and instantly get $50 when you do one $5 entry. Bro, look how clean that looks. Like, I gotta take a picture of that. Look how clean that looks. 100 games in a row. Streak of 100 games. Let me put it on my name right there. 100 games in a row. 
It's very impressive, man. And 100 games in a row. Now, what's the next goal? You know, 115, 120. You know what I'm saying? Sheesh. All right, this one of them games right here where we like, whoo, yes. We got fucking Texas Tech. Texas Tech, man. We got money in Texas Tech. I think I played. Who did I play when I had Texas Tech? Was it? No, 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 no. I'm thinking of somebody else. I played Skimbo, and Skimbo had uh, Oregon. Uh, not Oregon State. Oklahoma State. That's what it was. I need to see exactly who Texas Tech got on their team before. I don't even know who they got on their team before I sit here and be talking about some. Yes, I got a free one. Because it be teams like this that be actually having some good players. Sit 96 feet safety. Um, yeah, I see no fast receivers, so. We definitely about to manhandle this guy. Blitz him. You know what I'm saying? Now, a lot of people be talking about how the mid blitz is just so OP. It's not, bro. It's actually easy to beat. You just got to be a good player. If you complain about not being able to beat mid blitz, then that's just, that's just something. That's something personal. You know what I'm saying? Who is that? Who is Brooks? Is Brooks good? Looks like he got takeoff or something. Cause he got a, he got up out of there. Who's the who's slow as fuck? And he don't have takeoff. Oh, Taj, I, I know that I've seen that, I've heard of that name before. But yeah, me Bliss is actually easy to beat. All you have to do is I'm gonna just explain to you. All I have to do is block seven and throw a dot, bro. All you have to do is block seven and throw a dot. It's pretty simple. Get into a formation with the running backs on the right side. It's a it's a trips formation with running backs on the right side, tight ends on the running backs on the left side, tight ends on the right side, both on the line of scrimmage. You got two receivers out here, you got one receiver out here. Block these core guys right here, and then throw whip routes and slants or go routes, whatever the case you gotta do. But it's 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 fairly simple. It's it's fairly simple to be. But people just don't be having like the mental capacity to do it for some reason. I don't know why. I don't know why people just can't. I, I don't. I don't. I really don't understand it. But you know, that's just what why people aren't good players, I guess. It's on me, bro. Not getting on my user. I just feel like he's gonna throw the RPO. I'm trying to scoop my guys up, but they won't scoot up. Like even with me pressing, they still won't scoot up. So it's like. It's kind of weird. I don't, and I'm really not. I'm not. I'm really not understanding how these guys get this speed boost soon they get the ball because it's like throwing me off a little bit. Okay, nice motion over. I'm curious as to if he's. Bam! He blocked seven up. You feel me? It's very. It's very simple to beat mid blitz. It's very simple. He just blocked seven. Shows me the guy know what he's doing a little bit. Okay, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, okay, all right. So I have to play this defense because if I don't play this defense, um, he's gonna kill me with the RPO. He's just, and I don't know why my guys was not playing the RPO right there. Like it was three on three out there, and I just don't understand how that's a, how, where we where we was at. You know what I'm saying? If it's three on three, then there's two guys to block. Them two, and then there's one guy to make the tackle on the other guy. So I'm kind of, I'm kind of, I'm kind of lost right there. You feel me? But I literally just told y'all how to block it. What you got to do? I said you got to block seven. And guess what he did? He blocked seven and found a dot. But what I should have done with my, but because I, I like to take my user out and lurk, so he would actually block seven on seven. If I would have took my user and blitz two, I would have had a free guy at the quarterback. But then I wouldn't be able to lurk nothing back. Deep, which is I didn't have nothing to lurk anyway, because he, he killed me with the corner route. So that was that was great. Like shows me this guy got a brain. Shows me this guy can actually think. Got sliding his D line over and linebackers over and shooting the gap right there. This guy might actually be good. 
This guy might actually be pretty pretty good. Okay, like the guy might actually be pretty decent. Running Jet Sweep on third and ten is just not smart at all. Bad angle of him clicking on right there. Thank you for clicking on, bro. Because we was not getting that first down. When I think about this guy's offense scheme, he could really, like, give me problems. Because of a couple things. Because of a couple of reasons, he can actually give me problems. And I'm going to tell you all the, the, the problems that he could give me. Because when I press my guys down, they won't go press. He can kill me with that RPO. Right? Another thing is... Hmm. That's actually good defense, bro. Another thing is whenever I uh manually move those guys down, if he just flips sides, my guys are not going to go over there and flip with him after I manually move them guys down. So, that actually kind of hurts. You know what I'm saying? Like, well, like, like when I'm pressing, my two guys are staying back deep. And I need to be able to... Damn, he could actually destroy me, bro. Defensively, if I stay in mid-blitz. And then the way the running is set up, it's a one-on-one -on -one tackle. If I miss that one-on-one -on -one tackle, we, we, we in trouble. I can throw the RPO right there. I was nervous. We honestly are not in a good situation right now. I mean, I get the ball back at halftime. But I gave him time to score before halftime. You know what I'm saying? So we're really not in an ideal situation right now. Oh, this is this is This is weird because I can see myself losing to this scheme, bro. And I just don't want to lose to Texas Tech, but I can see myself. Alright, let's see. Let's see something here. Let's see something here. It's good defense. If we just we just needed a spy right there or something. It's honestly great defense. If my D line can shed. Oh my god, hook. Oh my god, hook. Hook, oh my god, hook. Oh my god. Oh my god. That's great defense, bro. That's great defense. I'm honestly sick about that. Yeah, this guy can think a little bit. This guy can honestly think a little bit. Let me grab that. Thank you. Let me grab that. We manned it up. Let's go. He threw that late. He threw that late. Let's go, man. Whether he threw it late or not, that's 98 speed and catching up to it. Why is that so funny? He's not even supposed to be there. That's nice. That's funny. He's not even supposed to be there. Broken sack saved me. Oh my god, Milro's amazing. Oh, uh, Milro is amazing, man. And the things I wanted to throw right there, like I wanted to throw the, the go route to Y right there. But he looked like he was keeping up with him speed wise. Let's go. I didn't want to score this early, but it's all good. It's all good. It's all good. Gun bunch open offset is his thing, man. Gun bunch open offset is his is is his go to. Let's go, cause I pass committed right there. That's a great tackle. That is an amazing tackle. I pass committed. Oh, fuck him. 
away. Who was 12? And where was 12 even at? Who was 12? I can't give up a post over a drag. Uh, 12 with a point, man. Uh, cool. Mega tackle. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. All right. Up seven with the ball. Um, we should be good, man. We should be good. Up seven with the ball. I should just run the, 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 in, the inside zone, huh? Since he got everybody on the left side. Inside zone should look good, huh? I guess it don't. Okay. I guess inside zone do not look good at all. This guy's running some type of match, I want to say. Oh my God. I think I had the running back, uh, the running back open on the, uh, the angle route. That was a risky pass. I needed a better ball than that, but that was a risky pass. Come on, that's great blocking. That's great blocking. That's great blocking. He's trying to set the edge and make me have to run around it or run into it. And I'm just reading off like, bam, cut up inside right there. Now my blocks are set up. And you just got to have good vision when you run the jet sweep. People think you can just run jet sweep and that's it. If you can just run jet sweep and it work out for you perfectly fine. But a lot of people, it, it don't work like that for people. You got to know how to set up blocks and you know what I'm saying? In and out. It's, it's decisions that you got to make, but. That right there is great. That was great. No. Great tackles. Make tackles. Love it. Come on. Come on. Make tackles. <laughs> it's bad by his quarterback right there. That's bad by his QB right there. So that's what he messed up at. That second drive, he seen zone and was just like, oh, let me dot this up. When in reality, he should have just kept throwing the RPO. And this is what I this is literally what I said could could mess me up. The run with the RPO. That's why I got out of man to man. But he played it right into my hands. Nah, that shouldn't be. Okay, and that's why I literally said. And that's why I said the safety shouldn't have been here in the first place. Because he's really my corner. I'm glad he was there to help me get that interception. But I'll, I'll never have. Well, he's going for two. No, I'm not paying attention. That's why I literally said. Uh. That's how you cut that up right there. That's how you cut that up right there. That's nice. That's that's nice vision. But that's why uh, I literally said, like, he's not even supposed to be right there. But I'm glad he was right there to catch that interception. But I never, I always like to have two 98 speed corners over there. I like both my corners to be 98 speed over there. Like, But if he was over there, that would not have been a pick. But, but that was 91 speed, I think, over there. So... I ain't, I ain't, I ain't the happiest about that. Those are great blocks. I can't even lie about that. Those are great blocks. They is like when they blocking that shit like glue. Like it's almost like they motherfucking holding over there. He's on the corner right there. Oh, he just moved the corner down. It's a nice cut right there by me. I should have played it a little bit more patient though. I should have stayed back behind my blockers a little bit, uh, a little bit longer. I think I said earlier in this video, um, it's never really about the player. Like the name don't matter. It's about the team, really, and how the team can hurt me. In this situation, it's not even the team. It's the, it's honestly the player. It's not even the team. It's, it's honestly this guy. This guy actually know what he's doing. Oh my goodness gracious, the stick workers. The stick work is disgusting. 
The steak work is disgusting right there. I'm trying to think, do I run this with meal roll? I don't think so. I haven't ran level seal a lot on this game. Because I don't have it in the stock play. But let's just do this thing. Three man just the, th the, the three man rush just went crazy right there. The three man rush just went crazy right there. Right, I think we should be able to be good to press it now. I think we're good to press it. Um, I might need to put a deep half on the left side because it's gonna look funny. Throw it. I dare you. Appreciate you. This game is just. This game is just. I don't even know why he's in the. That, you know, it, it don't even matter, man. It don't even matter. It don't even matter. It don't even matter. Why does this shit not show me my whole defense? Corner out, manned up. Perfect. Make him scramble. Perfect. Great defense. Perfect. Keep everything in front of you. Perfect. He could have done that. Oh, he could. He could have just ran it all game. Honestly, like he could have just killed. Since the second drive, he could have just killed me with the RPO, like all game. Could have just killed me with it. He could have just, and that's what people. That's what people don't understand. Like, just keep doing what you're doing. Do it. Do what works. Keep running. What's consistent. You know what I'm saying? If I'm running jet sweep and he can't stop it, keep running it. Why would you stop running it? Like, he was killing me with the with the RPO earlier. Like, shit. Keep running until I adjust to it. You know what I'm saying? People don't play like that though. I don't know why. It's great tackles. People don't play like that. I don't know why. But I think he's relying on the onside. He needs an onside kick. And I hope they don't give it to him. I pray they don't give it to him. Nah, that's crazy. That that's... It's crazy that that's the read right there. It's honestly crazy that that's the read. Oh God! Oh, oh, he's kicking it deep. Perfect, perfect. He can't stop me. He can't stop me. Perfect. Like two first downs in this game is over. I'm glad he went to. I'm glad he went to to three deep. I'm glad he did. I am so glad he went to three deep. So glad he went to three deep. So glad. It's kind of what you, it's kind of, he's, he's looking at it as if it's Wildcat. But people don't understand that this is not Wildcat. Even though it's, it got runs out of, like the Wildcat runs, and it's not Wildcat though. Like, Wildcat, it'd be like two running backs and, and fucking, Wildcat be like two running backs and, and, and one tight end and two receivers, some weird, some weird shit that you can't audible out of. Well, I can audible out of this to all my shit. It's one running back, one tight end, three receivers. So I can still run my trip tight end and, and, and gun bunch tight end, all that shit. That's why it's. That's why it's so important for real. All right, one first down. This game's over. I think dude might run with Texas Tech just because of the play that that the playbook. He only runs one formation. I don't think maybe he just can't find. Um, stay in bounds. The clock stop. We st we still good though. Maybe he can't find the playbook. Maybe he can't find that formation in a different playbook. That's why he maybe that's why he run with Texas Tech. But if he find that. 
in like a Georgia playbook or if he find it in a playbook but with a better team, oh this guy be this guy be and he's good though. He's still good. But if he find that right there with a better quarterback and a better team, this guy'd be a problem. Shout out to you though, man. Shout out to you. What is that? One oh one in a row? Hundred and one games in a in a row, man. Sheesh. Put me back at the number three spot. Hey, Black Wayne. Oh, yeah.